whenever I'm complaining about uh, my body or, you know, feeling out of shape or whatever it is that I want to change, my husband always turns to me and says, well, don't forget, abs are built in the kitchen, not in the gym. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, is so this like a man's, is that what works for men? That works for men. Definitely. Yep. Because when I hear that abs are built in the kitchen, not in the gym, I'm like, am I supposed to starve myself? Like, what what are you talking about? Right. So this comes back to the, uh, you know, the fasting and I get really frustrated with more men or will drop alcohol, they'll drop sugar, and then all of a sudden their abs are ripped, right? Yes. They're like, Phew, belly fat gone. Yes. But for women, we tend to store belly fat. Correct. And, and if I'm not drinking, yeah, I want results. I know, but it doesn't necessarily happen. No, it doesn't, no. Dr. Sims. It doesn't. This is not fair. No. Because I don't understand my own body. I know. It's very frustrating. And I've been listening to the bro science and my stupid husband telling me the advice that works for him. And mm -hmm. he's, he's only trying to help. So what do I, So why does it not work that way for women? We have a higher percent body fat, for one. And again, it comes down to food intake in the hypothalamus. So if we start taking out food and not replacing those calories with something else, then we end up in a lower energy state. So that's a that could be a whole nother podcast, but basically we're not eating enough to support body composition change and health outcomes. So if we talk about abs in the kitchen, if we're eating the same kind of grandparent diet, then we're gonna have the same outcomes, right? But if we have the extra 20 bit of life where we're having chocolate and whiskey and all those fun things, a man could take that out and get super ripped. A woman takes it out, there's no change. Why? Because the hypothalamus is like, where are those calories? I need those calories. So if we want to eat a little bit cleaner, we have to make sure that we're actually providing enough calories. So if we're providing enough calories and our body's like, yep, sweet, we got enough for all the things that we need to do in a day, overcome the stress, and we have enough to uh, fuel the training and the changes we want with the exercise we're doing, you're going to get those abs. Wow. And then the compound movements, like working abs in a functional way, not doing sit-ups, but like doing deadlifts or squats where you have to use your abs as a support mechanism, builds them faster than you see, you know, guys on the floor doing lots of sit-ups or Russian twists. Yeah, they're going to get those strong abs. But for women, it's better to do this compound for that torsion to be able to use it as support because then it allows us to stand upright and have better posture because our center of gravity is down in our hips. Men's center of gravity is up in their chest. So if we're working to control our posture and develop the strength through our core and we're standing up taller, our abs show. Wow. Because I, I would be a happy woman if I never had to do a crunch again. And so yeah. if I'm actually lifting, that could be true.